My name is Rachel McEwen. I became a credentialed diabetes educator about 15 years ago. I am a dietitian originally and every maybe second person I was seeing as a dietitian had diabetes so I felt like I needed some more information about diabetes and then was really driven to become a diabetes educator and then a credentialed diabetes educator because I wanted to bring that expertise to the people with diabetes that I was seeing to provide more of a well-rounded education for them. Also having an understanding of medication, other technology they might have been using, so blood glucose monitoring and how that fit with what I was providing as a dietitian. And then I really just fell in love with diabetes education and the impact that that was making on people with diabetes and just striving to do better in terms of that education, helping them and supporting them through their diabetes journey. Prior to becoming a credentialed diabetes educator, I was only able to provide education and support on one aspect of diabetes management. And that meant that I needed to then refer the person with diabetes on to another service that might work with them on other aspects. And that can become really disjointed for the person with diabetes if there's no access to those other services or there's long wait times for those other services. Being a credentialed diabetes educator is a recognition that you are specialised in diabetes education. The doctors that might refer to you or the other specialties like an endocrinologist or a podiatrist or even a hospital that might be looking for some specialty diabetes education for a person with diabetes. They will then have the confidence if you're a credentialed diabetes educator that you have all of those aspects covered in your training and your education. There's also the recognition and the assurance that you've continued that education. The, the people that are referring to you have confidence in that system. As a credentialed diabetes educator, I know that I'm recognised by Medicare and the National Diabetes Services Scheme, the NDSS, as a specialist in diabetes education. And you have the confidence that you are up to date with your professional development. You've got the confidence that you have the latest information on technology and treatments and medication. The GPs are referring to you, they know that you have that specialty knowledge. Other people in my local hospital also invite me to speak at their diabetes sessions. All health professionals should become credentialed diabetes educators if they're eligible. So I'd really encourage anyone that's eligible to have a look at the credentialing pathway. Get onto the ADA website and have a look if they are eligible and then go through that credentialing process.